Hello everyone, this is Dr. Abhinav and uh, in this video today we will be seeing about the medical officer recruitment for the NDPC that is National Thermal Power Corporation. So I came across this uh, recruitment uh, post uh, because one of our uh, doctors have posted this in our telegram group. So you can also join our telegram group to have uh, many updates like this. So the link is in description, you can join it. And uh, today we will be talking about this uh, National Thermal Power Corporation medical officer recruitment so if you see this the NTPC is a central government job and this is basically the power plants so in all over India you, will have, you have more than uh, 20 power plants of NTPC and uh, you can be posted anywhere so to start with uh, recently uh, 25th February they have released this notification and uh, last days last date for filling the application form is uh, 16th of March so you have probably two weeks more to fill so if you want to or if you are interested in uh, applying for this post after uh, watching this video please apply it immediately so let's start so what they have given is here is that the NTPC is looking for GDMO medical specialist uh, for its hospitals at uh, project stations uh, the recruitment is they want uh, 60 GDMOs, that is General Duty Medical Officer, 60 of them, the required qualification MBBS only. They also want uh, pediatricians, orthopedics, opta, radio, OBG, pathologist and ENT. So, can be posted uh, in any hospital uh, that comes under uh, NTPC. Uh, so, these are the required qualifications for uh, PGs you can uh, either have MD or DNB degree also. Experience that they are looking for for a general duty medical officer is minimum two years experience but this should not include your internship period. So after completing your internship period you should have uh, had at least two years of experience. Then uh, the upper age limit for applying for this post is 37 years and level and uh, pay scale of recruitment. So they have many grades in this NTPC so as you as the grade increases the uh, level of post will also increase for example uh, some post starts as starts at E0 uh, then they will slowly get promoted E1 E2 but for uh, medical officer it starts at uh, E2 for general duty medical officer the salary can range between 50,000 to 160,000 and for specialist E3 grade will be 60,000 to 180,000 E4 grade which is higher than E3 so they will give 70,000 to 2 lakhs so they you can since this is a central government job you can also have other benefits such as dearness allowance and uh, terminal benefits and uh, many other benefits so the vacancies available is in GDMO out of 60 24 seats have been uh, for the unreserved and uh, the rest have been for the reserved category and for the PGs you can see here also so what else they have given is that uh, the candidate should be of good health and they will have a certain health criteria. They, they will screen you according to it and uh, only if you are fit you will be able to join the job. And another general condition is the, are that only Indian nationals can apply. Uh, uh, what uh, The qualifications should be recognized by the medical council. For example even uh, foreign graduates can apply but their qualifications should have been uh, uh, approved by the medical council and uh, regarding the age I have told you already and uh, yeah, the examination will be uh, a written test and an interview the written test will be for 85 percentage of the marks and the interview will be 15 percentage of your marks so if there are more number of applicants applying they can even have a screening test even before the written exam in order to screen the can good candidates who are uh, fit for the post uh, then as I have told before 85 uh, you'll have an online written exam that will be 85 percentage of your marks and uh, an interview which will be 15 percentage of your marks you will also and uh, another important thing is that you will you will have to qualify both in written exam as well as in interview then uh, other important things uh, this one in point number five you can see the age relaxation and uh, 
and point number seven uh, they have given posting shall be at any station projects jv subsidiaries of ntpc all posts are transferable at the sole discretion uh, discretion of the management you should also note on this so make sure you are uh, filling your uh, applications properly without any mistake if there is any mistake or uh, any uh, thing uh, wrongly filled so they can be you can also uh, they can also ba uh, allow not allow you to write the exam also so how to apply for this post interested candidate uh, will have to go to ntpc.co.in and then uh, visit carriers carrier section and then uh, you'll have to apply there no uh, no other website you cannot apply at any other website you will have to go to this website only and apply here so make sure you have a valid email id and uh, the fees for this exam is that uh, 300 rupees and for the SCST PWD XSM category and female candidates need not pay the registration fee payments also available in the offline mode in online mode also so know that the last date for applying for this post is 16th of March so if you're interested uh, for this post then you should uh, try to apply it soon because uh, the sooner you apply the preferred center that uh, 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 the preferred center for you to be allotted the chances are more so make sure you apply yearly because uh, you will most probably get the center of your choice so that's all for this video if you haven't subscribed to our channel please do subscribe thank you